Today I'm going to show you how I will do layout for DTR2 memories and I will use Altium Designer. As a first step I created groups, basic groups of DTR2 signals which are clocks, commands, control signals and then data banks. 0, 1, 2, and 3. In my design I use processor and 4 DDR memory chips. 2 on the top and 2 on the bottom. I'm going to try line match branches of command signals. I will pick one of them, one signal, and I will start here. With DDRAM SD WE signal. I selected the signal, press Ctrl and left click, or highlight it. And now what I'm going to do, I will start the line matching from the last branches. There are four last branches connected to the memory chips. As you can see this is one, two or a second, third and fourth. And the best would be if all these branches are exactly same length. I didn't find or I haven't found better way how to measure the length of the copper from path to wire then, then I will use I will press shift and select the tracks and then report and measure selected object. It says 84 mils. I will write it down and do this measurement for for all four branches. Then I will leave the longest one and I will try to land match the other three. Sixty-six. I finished the top and bottom layer for the command signals, but only this last branch. You can see this is top one chip, top second chip, bottom one chip bottom second chip.
and now I'm going to match these from this wire to the middle wire should be same as from the middle wire to this wire I'm almost done with this part of the EDR I'll show you how I, I'm doing it I'll measure the length of this branch again Four two one is this in this rust signal I already put it here four two one this other is Two four seven. Two four seven. I created Excel table because I couldn't write down everything. Here is different. This different should be in tolerance forty mils. Then we need to make this branch longer by. 174 mils to match this then what I do I'll check the total length length of the net you can see it in the black it's somewhere here eh? look. it's 1895 we need to add our 174 it will be approximately 2070 then when we make the changes the total length should be approximately 2070 2047 91 okay we will make it easier measure track length on this layer I use this filter where I just change the net name for example for address 1 it's now selected only on this layer and it selects tracks only on layer 8 and then it's measure it's easy to measure Nine seven five. Yeah. Nine seven five. See, I already put it here. And what I've done in this spreadsheet, I measure total length between CPU and each chip. and all these nets should match within 100 mils <laughs> based on freescale datasheet but there are plenty other datasheets what says this, this, this I just always try to make it as close as possible but in this design there is not much space to do this 
tweeting, tweeting. I have approximately checked clock measured from from the pin to the pin and it's 1399 which is good because our command our uh, command signals are around 1800, 700, 800 it means I can make the clock longer that's fine now I checked all the control signals I measured, I already measured them and again total length is less than 1700, 1800 what will be our target length and uh, they are quite easy to be modified see all this red there is space if I need then I'll leave it for now and let's go and have a look on on data N now I'm measuring data again I use filter eight one six and I don't measure rest of the track I just calculate it because I know this is always 22 and it's same from top same from bottom and I can use it and if I measure this by my filter I can easily calculate this track on this layer then that's what I'm doing here and then I just calculate total length now everything has been done as you can see here are data with SDQS signals in the middle data with SDQS signals in the middle addresses top layer clock with parallel resistor addresses and bottom